destination morning guys i really wanted to say that so today is solar panel day paint day and finish up the walls day it's pretty early in the morning i'm pretty sure of myself and confident enough to think i can get all of this done today i will show you what i did with the solar panels because it was a little weird how they came like the screw heads and washers weren't big enough i don't know how to explain it i will show you i'm just gonna go ahead and start touching up areas on the outside of the bus with some spray paint i'm going to spray paint the front grill area again the back bumper and these doors up at the front because they look a little ashy i did get the rust-oleum spray paint primer this is flat black they didn't have gloss or semi-gloss and i bought this really cool thing i wanted to show you guys okay i think i showed you already but i want to go over it again the amazing spray system super cool you just put the color that you want inside and you have a little spray gun so instead of buying an entire paint sprayer now i just have a cute little treble slave bottle which is perfect because i only need to hit up a couple of small spots i'm thrilled to use this i'm really excited so i'm gonna put the pink paint in here touch up pink spots white spots and the black spots Ooh, i look cute with the sunlight hitting me Ooh, ooh. okay this is such a pretty color i'm in love really quick i just wanted to say that yesterday i was trying to reverse out of a parking spot and I parked pretty darn close to a tree. Scraped while forwarding in and backing out. Nothing was on this bus on the outside. Like, literally couldn't even tell that I scratched the absolute mess out of this tree. So, this paint is not going nowhere. I just wanted to say that because I wasn't using typical bus paint or rust -Oleum or anything like that. So, I was pretty surprised. Honestly, I thought I was gonna have to make some touch ups, but we're Gucci. Gucci man. Okay, so as you saw, I went ahead and taped up the bottom part of the bus over here and now what I'm going to do is remove some of this gunk that is between this little gap so it looks like I guess the bumper itself is kind of sitting lower than it's supposed to so you can see this like adhesive stuff that was left behind it's like rubbery residue so I'm gonna go get a scraper and scrape that off probably sand it out get a nice clean smooth surface clean it and then we'll paint okay all the gunk has been taken off just use this little painter scraper thing now i'm gonna go get the sander probably an 80 grit paper and sand her out Alrighty, as you can see we are nice and sanded down it looks a lot better i'm glad i removed all that gunk kind of gross but yeah looking good so now what i'm gonna do is clean it and then i noticed some spots where there was like some rust i tried to sand it down as much as possible then i'll go around it with some what is it called protective enamel and hopefully that'll help out plus i'm using the rust oleum so this prevents rust as well so double secure but yeah let me go grab a cloth or something wipe this down and get it ready to spray all right, we are nice and wiped down. Now I'm gonna go over with the clear enamel and then I'll start painting. I personally use a box or like I showed you before that little piece of foam insulation and kind of just block off the background of what I don't need that way I don't spray too crazy but I don't want to tape up or you know secure the whole bus with some type of lining or 
plastic or boxes. So this is how I'm gonna do it. You can do it however you want, just get it sprayed. <laughs> looks great and as you saw before there was like a little gray patch and that was the brondo that i used to clear up a small hole in the back sanded it down and look at that you can't even tell there was a hole there so that's pretty darn lit and also as you saw i kind of sprayed downward where my little exhaust is and just sprayed around it not inside of it just because and then the little hook towing thing i sprayed as well so yeah We'll let that dry gosh darn it it looks great i'm so happy with that also when you're using spray paint you want to be aware of the drip and it'll literally just dry like that so i just went around with a paintbrush as you can see in some areas and just kind of swished it back and forth so it wouldn't leave an actual drip mark okay so next i'm gonna go ahead and do the front i have more brondo that is already sanded, so I don't need to do that part. And I'll probably just wipe it down and start spraying. As you can see, I got a lot of paint everywhere because I just wanted to get the pink on and then worry about the front later because I knew I was gonna have to repaint anyway. So yeah, time to dip it up. I went ahead and just taped up everything. Yes, there's probably a way easier way to do this, which is remove the entire grill, but I don't wanna be responsible for it not going back on correctly, losing screws, cause that's what I've been doing lately. Just little things like that, I'd rather not. I felt this was an easier way for me, but you can do it however you'd like. Again, the main reason is just to get the paint on the bus. Okay, so I was starting to sand down the bus and I just wanted to give you a prime example of what I did last time. I let it drip and it dried like that. So that's not cool, that's why I'm sanding even more this time just to kind of tear off that first layer that I did and redo it this time properly. Mm -hmm. 